With the start of the school year less than a month away now, students, families, and teachers are wondering what role COVID safety protocols will play. Fox 13's John Franke joins us now from the Jordan School Board meeting in Riverton. Where John, I understand parents on both sides of the mass debate voice their concerns to the board tonight. Good evening. Well, hey guys, you know, back in May, the Utah legislature essentially banned mask mandates in public schools, but with those case counts on the rise, parents are now feeling uncertainty and they made that clear here tonight. On the side of freedom. That's the voice of just one Jordan School District parent asking the board to not require children to wear masks while at school. She wasn't alone. If the masks are implemented in the fall, we need to be offered an exemption form. If you want to mask, by all means, mask your child. That's up to you. Let us have our voice in some of the decisions that are made. Um, please let us choose if our kids should wear a mask or not. But one parent who said she's a nurse asked the board to listen to medical professionals. Schools must continue to take a multi-pronged, layered approach to protect students, teachers, and staff including vaccination, universal mask use, ventilation, testing, quarantining, and cleaning and disinfecting. Combining these layers of protection will make in-person learning safe and possible. Following public comment, the board's lawyer explained the legal authority of the school board as it pertains to COVID policies, a presentation that was interrupted by some members of the public. They're supposed to help us with any test-to-state programs. Um, no, we don't take participation during our meetings and we need to let our uh, finish on. Okay. All of order. Uh, point of order. The district's lawyer reiterated the fact that the district can encourage masks, but any mandate cannot come from the board. You don't have the discretion to require um, face masks in the school. And what we saw here tonight will likely play out at other districts across the state in the coming weeks. I also reached out to the Utah Education Association. They tell me that they support whatever health professionals recommend to keep students and staff safe. Reporting live in Riverton tonight, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.